Gary hit the road, high as a kite. Used to driving under the influence, he entered a fugue state, eyes at the limits of the headlamps as he cruised through the moist Florida night, insects splattering the windshield. June bugs hit like shrapnel. Gary tuned into the Ferd Ledlow show. We'll be right back after this short commercial break. Hi, Slick Nivaleski here with a true story about how you can save thousands of dollars on life insurance. Ray, a real person, is 45 years old with a minor heart condition. Gary twisted the dial. Have you been injured in an automobile accident and the insurance company refused to pay you what you deserve? Contact the law offices of Habib Rodriguez. I specialize in personal injury claims. I've been dealing with insurance companies all my life and they don't scare me. We don't collect unless you collect. Sonia Real is a real customer. My name is Sonia Real and I was broadsided by an 18-wheeler that ran a red light. The insurance company refused to pay me what I deserved, so I called Habib Rodriguez and he got me $850,000. I'm Habib Rodriguez. I can't promise to get you $850,000, but we will never know unless you call me today. My number is... Gary switched back to Ferd Ludlow. We are witnessing an unprecedented invasion of unidentified flying objects. The media won't report this. They are in cahoots with the government to suppress all information regarding this influx of alien invaders. Yes, you heard me. Earth is under assault by alien invaders. They are snatching our cattle and even human beings, seized late at night, beamed into their craft via anti-gravity, where they are experimented upon and anally probed. Listen to this account from Luke Spacey of Pembroke Pines. Luke, thank you for hanging on. Please tell our listeners what happened. I was walking my dog Herman around the block. It was past midnight. Some nights I don't sleep, so I walk Herman. It's a real quiet block. All of a sudden, Herman starts going crazy, barking like a maniac, and I hear this weird humming noise, and the air smelled of fried potatoes. 